Yo, hey guys, Bleaks here, back with another video. So, we've had uh, lots of questions about talking about attack power versus skill power and damage types and how it all scales and how to like explain it for you guys. So, I'm gonna get into that today. So, if we look at the Paladin, uh, we're gonna have to like talk about some definitions. Um, and you can apply this for any classes, I'm gonna try to make it as general as possible. But basically, let's uh, read over some of the the stats so we have attack power um, attack power increases damage done by primary attack by 200 or by the percentage right uh, 2850 in this case so that is a percent increase on the flat amount that the uh, primary gives you so your primary attack is the sword sword six says under it primary attack these other abilities are active skills and passive skills these all count as skills Alright, so uh, we can also read about skill power. Increase the damage done by skills. So these down here, if they do damage, it increases the damage. Skills and items by 340%. So if I get items, this skill power will increase the items. The same is true for crit chance. You have crit chance uh, for your primary, which is the, the top one here, the one that doesn't say skill crit. Um, it'll increase the sword crit chance and crit damage. Under it, you have skill crit damage and skill crit chance. That are that's going to affect these other ones here. It also will affect your items. So that's just how the stats interact with your skills. So as far as the damage type goes, it doesn't matter. So in this case, the paladin does um, physical damage. So physical damage is mitigated by armor, but it doesn't matter. Attack power still increases the physical damage of your sword. If sword was a magic ability, it would still be increased by attack power. So there's actually an instance of this. Um, you know, we can we can look at some more. So charge does 75 physical damage. Charge is an active skill. It's increased by skill power. So the more skill power you add, the more damage your charge is going to do. Same is applied for whirlwind. Whirlwind does physical damage, but it's a skill, so it is increased by your skill power and by your skill crit damage, skill crit uh, chance. So that all applies to your skills. So there's uh, some other passives. So this one here, Flames of Devotion. So this is probably the one of the more confusing ones for the Paladin. So each hit with sword, your primary attack, adds one magic damage to all of the Paladin's skills. This stacks up to 24 times. Each stack lasts for one second. So this one's kind of different because it adds flat damage to all your skills. So when it's added to your primary attack, it gets increased by your attack power. When it's added to your other skills, it gets increased by your skill power. So it still follows the same rules, but um, it applies a flat amount to your sword that then gets increased by your attack power. So under the breakdown of attack power, where it says upgrades, class statues, uh, or sorry, class title statues, under it says the physical added bonus and the magical added bonus. I don't have anything that adds those right now, but if I did, it would go there and then it gets increased by my attack power. So, one instance, this is one that uh, confuses a lot of people, is Incendiary Demise, if I can find it. So Incendiary Demise adds 40 uh, magical damage on primary attack, okay? So it's not considered a skill, this is just an effect. So the effect adds it to your attack power. So now at the bottom you see magical addition plus 40. So that plus 40 is added to my base uh, 31. So now I do 31 physical damage and 40 magical damage on my primary. That's going to be increased by my attack power. So both of them will be increased. The 31 is increased and the 40 is increased. So I still maintain the same ratio of most of my damage is magical and the rest is physical. And then we add on Flames of Devotion. That's going to be even more magic damage on my primary if I have the stacks. So it becomes to where I do a ton more magic damage than uh, physical damage, even for my primary. When it comes to the, the chapel, there are uh, stats like this one, Blessing of Intellect. So magic damage ignores 20% of the enemy's resistances. So magic damage is uh, normally reduced by the resist, so you get to ignore some more resist, even though it's your primary attack. Because uh, some people get kind of baited into taking Blessing of Might, because it increases the physical damage. So that's just one thing to remember. It doesn't matter what kind of damage your 
primary damage does, or your skills do, they get increased by this number and this number, respectively. Attack power increases the damage of your primary attacks, skill power increases the damage of your skills and items. If you're trying to scale an item, say Cape of the Flamewalker, uh, you want to increase your skill power, you want to increase your skill crit and skill, uh, and skill uh, crit damage. So if we look at like another character that's kind of confusing, uh, I would say is the Warlock. So if we find him, the Warlock. All right. So the thing with the Warlock is his primary is just kind of weird. So he does a Soul Dagger. Soul Dagger is a short range attack that basically doesn't do any damage. Just like one damage, I think, for uh, coding's sake. But it applies Soul Consum Soul Consumption, which does magical damage over time for five seconds. And then I gain um, life and mana based off of the damage dealt. So if we attack with it, you can see the damage is doing. You know, we just have a, a ton of attack damage, so every now and then we get like a huge spike. Yeah, you see, that's increased by attack power. That is just from the soul consumption. There's also um, soul cleaver that spreads it, but that's kind of irrelevant. So. You can increase the damage of this ability by increasing your attack power. We just don't have a lot of base attack power, so it's not really increased, and that one has resist. You see that one's doing it for 22. Uh, is this the one that does it? Also 22. But we can kind of show this off. So if I go here and I buy a called, uh, Sword of Kings, Gonna increase my attack power some more, so we should see an increase in our damage. Okay, now we're taking 20 instead of 19. Uh, it, it just bases it off of this, and if we add flat magical to our primary, it's still gonna add it. So if I take incinerary demise, if I can find it again, there it is. So now we have plus 40 added to our uh, primary, even though our primary also does damage over time. It, it adds that damage to the primary. And we're dying from incendiary demise, but still. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of how you would scale your primary. So this primary, um, yeah, it actually scales with attack power, which is just kind of weird because it seems like it's a, it's a magical damage over time type of ability. And it, it, it is, it's just, uh, it doesn't matter what type of damage you're doing, it matters if it's a primary attack or if it's a, a skill. Um, some other, so like, you saw the Paladin was mostly physical based damage, this guy is all magical. He does magical in his primary, he does magical in all of his active skills, but there's some other characters that do hybrid, and they get kind of a, a double benefit depending on um, what you're doing. So one is the Sorcerer. The Sorcerer follows the same kind of rules as the, the previous ones we talked about, except for his primary does hybrid damage, which means half is magical, half is physical. So when you're looking at uh, you know, what does more damage on your character to try to figure out what chapel bonus you want, you want the one that does uh, you know, more magic, ignore magic resist, or if you want one that ignores physical resist, I mean, you gotta take everything into account. Like I'm using the physical hammer here. Uh, these also count for your primary attack. That's another thing I probably should have mentioned earlier, but these also scale off of your attack power, your uh, primary crit and your primary crit bonus. So, the reason that happens is this like adds it to, to your primary as well. It, it adds an ability to your primary, um, which is pretty much rare in the game. Um, so it's just primary attack, throws a hammer. The hammer in this case is considered part of your primary. Whereas if you get an item that says your primary does something, it usually is separate and increasing the item skill damage is different. So what's a, what's a case of that? I guess like flame tongue, um, flame tongue. It adds flat magical damage to your primary. That's going to get increased by your um, your attack power. But like I was saying before, skill power uh, increases the damage of your items. Well, this doesn't have damage to increase on, on the first line, but does apply burning as well. That burning is going to be increased by your skill power. But the flat part isn't going to be increased until it's after it's added to your character. Whereas if you take an item like Cape of the Flamewalker, it just burns nearby enemies for 10 magic damage. If you want to increase that, since it's an item, you need to scale skill power and skill crit. So when you're looking at what you want to use for a character that's hybrid, 
you have to take everything into account like what kind of statues you're using what kind of drinks you're using so on like the paladin we were using incinerate demise which pushed my magic damage over my physical damage so it's better for me to ignore resist than it was to ignore armor for the sorcerer it's 50 50 until you start adding other things like this is hybrid damage hybrid 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 uh hybrid so everything is hybrid damage so the next things that will come into account is like what do i have in the chapel i'm um, like technically i have mana regen because it's a sorcerer and i just want more mana regen but if i got to the point where mana regen wasn't an issue i'd have to pick between blessing of intellect blessing of might i technically have divine hammer which uh is physical so you would lean more towards this side but I mainly don't use my primary, so I'd lean more towards this side on the Blessing of Intellect and get the bonus to my items as well. So that's kind of the idea uh, between this. And there's some other characters that have hybrid abilities. Each one is just a little different, like the Priest is a primary uh, that's hybrid, but all his other abilities are magical. So depending on how you're building your Priest, if you're building him for primary or building him for uh, skills, you might build him differently. But usually a primary character will take Incinerary Demise, which will push your magic damage higher. So almost every character ends up doing more magic damage than physical damage. But anyway, I'm going to make this short little video. Hopefully I covered everything. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.